All right, if you live in California and you want free solar and a free battery, today I'm talking to my buddy John Wiley. I'm gonna tell you about this program. June 2nd, 2025 is when applications on this thing are due. So you don't have a lot of time, um, but I wanna jump into this, John, because I think it's a great program, not just for owner-occupied homes, but like you told me about, um, folks that own rentals can uh, qualify for this and with their tenants being less than 80% of the area median income, um, they're gonna qualify to put um, solar and these batteries on their rental properties. Uh, before we jump too far into it, thanks for joining me, brother, and uh, maybe a quick intro on who the heck are you? Yeah, uh, my name is Jonathan Wiley uh, and I own a company uh, called Nano5 California. Um, we specialize in typically roof restoration. So we extend the life of roofs. My business and partner and I have a extent, extensive background in solar. Um, we had two previous companies individually um, that were solar installers that we had sold. Um, and we got into roof rejuvenation last year. And then we got wind of this program uh, a couple months ago that California was going to launch $280 million to pay for solar for moderate and low income families in California. And so we retold our business um, over the last month to take advantage of this program uh, because we we have the solar experience, the install experience, um, but we also have a real estate loan originating experience. and that's how you really have to get approved for these programs is through a lot of income verification. And that's something that a lot of solar companies aren't set up for. Um, and so we think we have a unique ability to not only get the applications and get them approved, but then also do the installations so we can help as many families as we can take advantage of the budget that's about to be released. Yeah, which me and you talked about this for anybody watching this um, who didn't see what happened with California Dream for All, it was a program to help California home buyers with down payment and people were really excited about it, um, but hundreds of millions of dollars was extinguished in a matter of a few business days. Um, and so like me and you talked about, John, um, if people think that they qualify for this program or they wanna go out there and, and apply for it and see if they can get uh, you know, free solar and free battery, um, you're gonna wanna do it relatively quickly uh, because we, we've seen programs like this, you know, comparing it to California Dream for All is fair, I believe, um, that $280 million can, can go real quick when you're talking about the whole state of California. You know what I'm gonna do, John? Because I think it's probably valuable to get some of my questions answered kind of yeah. live so that people can see. Um, I'm pulling up this, um, where do we go? See if we can both be on there and pull up this, uh, Maybe not. I was trying to. I was trying to pull up the application. Maybe I'll pull it up. There we go. Both of us with with this application. Um, I'm going to have this link in the YouTube description. This is uh, the the application link that you shared with me, where people can go. There's there's a bunch of of cool like frequently asked questions. Is this really free? Who qualifies? How do I qualify? But maybe what's what's your best one minute kind of elevator pitch for who qualifies for, for this program. Yeah. Um, so really the only qualification is the utility bill owner, the, the, the family that lives in the house, whether they're the homeowners or if they're the tenants need to qualify by making less than 80% of the average median income for their County. Now, something to qualify, this whole conversation is there's a lot of skepticism uh, and it's for, I think, kind of like two reasons. One is we've always kind of heard that if it's too good to be true, it usually is. And in most things in life, that's absolutely true. Um, as well as there's a lot of um, misinformation and fraud even when it comes to solar and how the way solar has been presented over the past few years. A lot of people have heard about free programs, free solar, and then they're stuck with the bill. And there's a lot of stories of people who fell victim to home or to sales reps in the solar industry that have said free, 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 and it, and it wasn't free. That's not what this program is. This is an assembly bill, AB 209, if you want to look it up. And that 
passed a budget that funds this program. So it's coming from the state of California and think of it like the train to nowhere, as everyone likes to call it, um, not to get political at all, whether you want the train or not, a lot of money over 15 billion has been spent and the train isn't around. So California votes to spend money and they voted to fund this, uh, this program. And so it, even though it's free to the end user, the, the homeowner or the tenant, um, it's being paid for uh, through the California budget. And so it truly is no cost. There's no bill, there's no money that's being transacted. Um, the home improvement contract we send out says $0 on it. Um, it doesn't go into effect unless the money has been approved for your property. So there is no risk to apply. If you think you're borderline on that income and you're not exactly sure, and we apply and for some reason, you know, it, 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 it didn't go through, um, there's no obligation. The, your only getting solar is if, if the state approves your property um, through the budget um, to go through. And so you get a system that size for 100% of your previous 12 months usage. So we can look back on your usage, see how much you use, and then we can size a system that's gonna cover that. And then you get a battery, which we're installing uh, Tesla Powerwall 3s. So it's the newest battery from Tesla. Um, so you're not only getting a system that's free, you're actually getting the best equipment out there as well on top of that. Man, that's awesome. Um, I won't go through the whole application, but you know, being a mortgage broker, dealing with um, applications and uploading docs, this, this is pretty simple um, for you know, either uh, an owner or a landlord who's um, doing it on behalf of, of the tenant you know, or qualifying um, through through their tenant. When I when I clicked through last night on this application, um, a few simple questions, and, and again, I'm not going to go through it, but um, I, I, I love learning new things. So it was cool for me to log into my SMUD account and see where you can go in there and find that green button data. It literally gives you like your usage per hour over yeah. whatever time period you request, right? And so, um, I thought that was was uh, was pretty cool. I wonder if uh, let me see if I could pull this up uh, just so just so people can see it. Uh, not everyone's a numbers nerd like me, I guess, but I uh, I still thought it was pretty cool to uh, to have like my usage broken down per hour going back for uh, for a whole year. Let me see. I'm gonna stop that one. Let's. Yeah. Uh, Let's pull up. Let's pull up an Excel spreadsheet here. Oh, fun stuff! If I can do it, um, my uh, my tech my tech skills aren't. What is this thing called? Smud Electric. If I can if I can find it, Smud Electric. I mean. You know what's cool? I'm not gonna be able to pull it up. I'm not gonna spend two minutes here trying to figure it out. But um, you, you know, I was talking to one of my tenants on a property we own, and I'm like, "This is a cool win-win, man. Like, you're gonna have, you know, even for those of us with SMUD that is cheaper than PG&E, like a three, four, five hundred dollar electricity bill in the summer when it's hot um, is is kind of the standard. And so for um, my tenant to have uh, that solar that's, that's, it's going to cover that. And then, you know, having the, the, the backup battery, um, in place too, like it's, it's pretty cool, uh, for property owners that, that are doing this stuff on rentals too. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still, so about it, man. that's where we're finding the most success, um, for both reasons you on the, on the tenant side, and that's why they included tenants is because it's supposed to go to moderate to low income families and that those families traditionally, um, you know, a lot of times they're not homeowners. And so to get solar on their properties who, who probably need it the most, they haven't been able to take advantage of these programs before. So it's giving them relief on these soaring electrical rates and that they've never been able to before. And on the flip side, the, the owners of these properties are getting an, an improvement on their property and a significant one for no cost. So we're seeing a lot of success out of everybody 
um, that we're seeing applying is, is that landlord tenant relationship. Um, either the tenants reaching out to us or the landlords are directly. And when the tenant does, and we talk to the landlord, the, the typical question is, can I do this on all my properties? Um, and the answer is yes, there is no limit of how many properties you can own. As long as the tenants uh, qualify, um, you qualify. And it could be, we do one to four unit uh, properties. So if you have a duplex, you can get one system on each side. As long as they're individually metered, um, you can get two systems on those. So it's not just for single family residences, which is pretty cool with this program. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I, uh, I've got a couple fourplexes in, in Marysville. Should we put them on those or what? Oh, that, no question. That's PG&E, first of all. And so in SMUD, you know, you're in Sacramento. I don't know where people are watching. Um, Sacramento utility rates are about a third of what the PG&E ones are. Um, even if somebody's on a PG&E discount program because of their income level, they're still double what SMUD is. And so your your benefit is not only are you helping these families lower their their expenses um but your your property is going to be more rentable if when you're looking for someone to rent your property in a pg area if it comes with a solar on it which is going to reduce their electrical bill i mean some of these families are saving one two three hundred dollars a month depending on how much electricity they use which is a huge savings you know for people who are in these income brackets I, I agree so much. And yeah, as a mortgage broker, I, I remind people, I talk to people about their finances every single day. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's no surprise that, you know, inflation has really hurt low to moderate income families. You know, ev everything going up in price from gas to groceries um, has, has really put a strain on those people more than anything in the world. So to give a gift of, of you know, going forward, you're not going to pay $200 a month in utilities. You're going to pay zero, like is, is huge um, for, for the tenant. And, you know, a lot of landlords, I know mom and pop landlords uh, are really proud of the fact that they provide like clean, nice housing. Yes. Over time you're, you're building wealth. Um, but you, you take pride in the fact that like I do right by my tenants. I don't like raise rents when I don't have to. I fix problems when they come up so that it's always, you know, clean and um, nice place for them to live. And now like another value add. Um, I, I love it, man. So um, I'm going to leave the link in the comments. Any parting words for anybody um, on this program? Uh, just that it's real. You know, we I was right there with everybody who's skeptical. We had a business, we were, were doing well with growing our roof rejuvenation company. And we heard about this. And then we went on webinars, we we're hearing it from the horse's mouth even. And we were still sitting back being like, this can't be true. They're, they can't be paying 100% of the cost. They can't be including a battery. This, what, what, and honestly, like no one's advertising it. So like, why aren't, why isn't this talked about more? And then it got to the point where we just, saw the guidebook we read all the rules we, we we contacted them we're like this is real this is happening the only difference is who's going to get the system and then we want to be we wanted to place ourselves in you know to have that power to decide and to help out so it's just as many people as we can reach out and, and communicate this is absolutely honestly a program that's that's released the budget's already been approved they're releasing the funds the applications just really have to be in by the end of the month because on June 2nd, we can hit the submit button uh, on any completed applications. And we do think that the, the, the funds will go relatively quickly. Yeah, I would imagine so. Awesome, man. All right, I'm gonna leave the link in the comments. I appreciate your time, brother. Look forward yeah. to helping some families take advantage of this. All right, thank you. Yep.